Hey, thanks for tuning in. It's Project I Want to Live. I'm Melissa. And I'm Vanna. And what is Project I Want to Live? That's where we're going to start it? off today. What is it? What is Everyone this? knows us as the Project Girls, um, or that know us, or if you don't know us, you're probably saying, what is Project I Want to Live? Project I Want to Live is our mission. It started with me, my weight loss journey last year, January 11, 2013, to get me to lose 100 pounds. And we have been very successful on the journey, we've gone through yes, ups, downs, highs, lows, you name it, we've gone through it. And as of today, I'm down a little over 77 pounds from our last weigh-in. I've lost a little bit over a pound. So, I mean, we're doing great in terms of the journey. Nicole we're one, we're yeah. full steam ahead, pushing through no matter what is thrown our way. And trust me, things have been thrown our way. And we're just really in the phase now where it's not just about us. Our mission statement is to inspire people to take control of their health so they can live a life filled with self-love and happiness. And doing that, when you're doing something great, there also comes a lot of criticism. Yes. So that's the phase we're in now. So now it's, oh, at first, you're too fat. Now it's, oh, you're, you're too, too skinny. skinny. So we're going to talk a little bit about what we're going through and a little bit of the criticism we've been getting. And I'm sure many of you can relate. Because in society, it's always something. With your friends, family, it's never... It's never enough, or it's always something to pick on. So it's kind of been getting out of our skin a little bit, and we wanted to share so you can understand and you can relate that our mission is health. Our mission is self-love. Our mission is happiness. So yes. please do tell partner, Miss Too Skinny over here. Well, as I'm too skinny, I may say. No, I'm kidding. Um, but pretty much, you know, we're saying this in a joking way, but really want to bring it up because it's definitely something that we want to dispel because... Like she said, our, our project, our mission, everything is all about we want to be healthy, we want to be happy, and we want to live a great life. And we want to be able to help other people to do the same thing. So starting off this journey, obviously, it's about getting the weight loss. It's about losing weight. It's about getting 100 pounds off of Melissa's body. Mm -hmm. Through that process, I myself have had my own weight loss transformation. And Really, honestly, to tell you the truth, I feel like I've been in the best shape of my life because of this project. Mm -hmm. I, we may have spoken about it in, in past videos before, but to really let you guys in and let you know how I was before, you know, I would honestly say if you saw me January 11th of 2013, you would not say I'm someone that looks super fit and whatever. I did not look like that. I wasn't, you know obese or anything like that but I did have weight to lose and more importantly habits to change habits to change exactly the way that I ate the food that I ate was not healthy mm -hmm. I had way too many carbs to the point where I was telling her earlier I'm like you know it's really funny how people make comments that I'm I look anorexic and I'm looking too thin these days to not lose weight or anything um, and to let you know, I'm not trying to lose weight right now. I've lost the weight and it's all about living a healthy lifestyle and being able to maintain that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, before when I actually would eat carbs like rice and pasta, I'd, I'd have multiple plates at a time or even just a regular serving would really make me bloated. I had a lot of, you know, digestion issues when it came to carbs and Talk about chocolate and sugar addiction, and cakes one and right things here. like brownies. Every day. I would eat them just way too much. Not every day, not every but day, not too you much. know, if you were to <laughs> if you were to you know break it all down, it probably would be bad. Um, so for me, it was just unhealthy the way that I was living my life. And I was telling Melissa, I was like, you know, right now I haven't been you know actively gym all the time whatever there's just been you know different things occurring in my life um that have been preventing me to do so but I was telling her I was like you know I am so appreciative of the fact that I can look in the mirror and be okay with me I can go out in a public place and not worry about lifting up my pants or you know pulling down my shirt because I'm so self-conscious about what my stomach looks like or how I feel about what I look like and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what anyone says about you or how anyone feels that you look. It's about how you feel about how you look, mm -hmm. how you feel internally. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this project is so special to me because it's been able to help me love myself. And that's a really big part of who we are and what we're doing. So 
in the in society in the media today you look at music videos you look at you know just actors and stars and whatever the healthy person is the one that looks fit it, not fit thick thicker is better you know more you know thicker thighs and thicker butts and things like that that's that's the most attractive thing these days and you know for me, quite frankly, I'm very happy with what I look like and who I am. You know, I was saying to her before, yeah, you know, do I want some more muscle? Absolutely. But I want more muscle because I love the way that it feels when I work out. And I, I, I love that. I love the way that my body feels when I'm in that action, mm -hmm. when I'm, you know, making that progress for myself. Yeah. So we wanted to dispel that and really just put that on the line. It doesn't matter how people view you. What really matters is how you feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. And with our project, to make it very clear, in, the, in my stage of this journey, I am all about maintaining an active and healthy lifestyle. I'm not trying to lose weight. So I will put it out there for you. I'm happy where I am, and I'm just focused on progressing in those areas. So we just wanted to put it out there. And really give you the truth about the truth. And we don't care what the media says. Too fat, too skinny, too whatever. You're it's always about being something. Healthy. Yeah. Exactly. So so I really want yeah. to take this moment to have Vanna speak her mind and her voice. Because Vanna has been the backbone of this project. I came to her as a friend, broken hearted, like... I am obese, I am pre-diabetic, I am unhealthy, I am afraid, I am lonely, I am fat, I am unhappy, all these things. I said, can you help me? And she's like, I don't know how, but yes, let's do it. And we did this video blog to show the pure and the essence and the struggle and everything. And we never knew it was going to get to this point and if I was going to make it this far. And she has been the support on my journey and in, the, and in the end, she actually transformed, too, from someone that was living a very unhealthy lifestyle, eating just, like, way too much pasta and sugar and just wasn't really healthy. And then result, she has a great body now. And so now it's like my partner, who has been my backbone, has been criticized. And I'm just not going to stand for that. So I've been too fat. She's too skinny. It is what it is. Our mission is health, change, progression, happiness. And the one thing that has changed the both for us is the inside we both have learned to love ourselves, and that is priceless. So I hope the message um, is clear. I hope you guys understand, and we're going to just keep going. And I thank you for your support. You have been my rock. And, you know, I'm a little emotional because, you know, I love this girl. She's she's done so much for me, and our mission is so much bigger now. We plan to go out and speak about obesity and do yes. events. And you're going to see more and more of us because this is – a scary subject that's going on in this country right now and we need to wake up and take control Absolutely. so that is it on that note we'll talk to you later <laughs> bye. bye too fat too skinny too fat too skinny I think we should put that in our video